them, them, them boys are humongous. You, you, and it's, you know, we got one guy that's like 6'11", and you would think he looks like the great Kali, and that guy is a monster, and he just smashes the ball. I'm telling yeah. you, you have 48 teams from the East Coast that plays on this tournament, and that's just him, the E-Division. I bet with that bad foot that I got, I bet I could still beat that guy around the bases. Huh? Uh, no. Yeah, no. let's put it this way. You have a better chance of TNA putting on a good paper here. Oh, no, yeah. oh, 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 no. <laughs> that was wrong. Uh, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Bring all the, bring Jose's stuff on? Ah, Jose. I'm not moving. Oh, all right. <laughs> it sounds like it, but, man, it sounds horrible right now. How am I supposed to work through that? <laughs> it's the same. I, I'm, I'm talking on my house phone, so I'm not sure why it, it would be all staticky. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's better now, so whatever. It only it only happens here and there, so it's not bad. So what are you going to uh, – am I going to meet some of these big, tough guys, softball girls down in New York City or what? No, nah, they're not. They're yeah. not I'm the only, like, wrestling dude that's, that even follows it. You know, I left uh, the guys over here at the park, and, and like, oh, you know, why are you leaving? And I'm like, i got to do a show. They're like, a show? What are you talking about a show? Like, a wrestling show. Oh, a wrestling show? I haven't watched wrestling since Hulk Hogan. And I just continued walking away. <laughs> ah, dude, I get it all the time. I, got, I, I, I care to get... less. What, when did this last time you watched wrestling? i got to call him. Last Tuesday, man. Last Tuesday, I was at a uh, I was at a bar during the day. Remember, I told you guys all that. And I came home and I said, guys, I got to take it off. I got to go home. I got to do a radio show. And they said a radio show. I said, yeah, wrestling. Radio. Oh, wrestling, pro wrestling, steak. <laughs> da, da, da. You know, I said, screw you, guys. I'm out. You know what I mean? Came home and still did the show. We got fans, baby. We got fans that are here every Tuesday. We got to be here. You know what I mean? Who cares? What? I'm telling you, that's that's why you know. Once the game is over. I grabbed my bag and I started walking towards my car and these guys are talking to me. I'm like, I gotta go, peace. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Whatever, whatever. We got fans that are here every Tuesday, so we gotta do it. Plus, it's my job, you know what I mean? Whatever. If I can make good money off pro wrestling, I'm gonna do it. You know what we I mean? Doing, we must be doing something right. We're doing something right if we're ever if we're able to make a living off uh, off pro wrestling and, and internet websites. So that's <laughs> that's good. That's good. Who cares? It's funny because I have a, I have a buddy that 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 kind of threw that card out. Oh, wrestling! Oh yeah, wrestling is fake. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, yeah, but it makes me money. And you know, he's like, oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm like, what do you do? Like, I work in a mail room. Enough said. <laughs> yeah, right. You work in a mail room and the and the post office is in like. Uh, God, the post office is horrible right now, man. They're uh, they're about to go out of business, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's it's there there are billions in the red, so you know, mother mother government has to come into the rescue and 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 provide the uh, the United States Postal Service, which I'm waiting for a package in the late. Um, no, you're, wait, you're waiting for a what? I'm waiting for a package. Oh yeah, yeah. Figures that they're late, right? Well, and they raised the price of stamps last week too, like forty four cents or something like that. I went to I went to go mail out some bills, and they had a big, big notice up on the thing that the stamps got raised two cents or something like that. I don't know what it was, but whatever. Hey, what do you think? We want to talk some wrestling or what? Yeah, why not? Let's try it. Yeah, let's give it a shot, right? That's what we do. WZR Radio stands for wrestling, right? <laughs> uh, actually, I don't even know. WZR Radio stands for whatever. stands for WZR, baby. But um, did you see uh, Monday Night Raw last night? Yep, I, I didn't, you know, pay attention too much to it, uh, but uh, I, you know, I did watch it. It was kind of playing in the background. Yeah, well, they, um, boy, they had the big NBA theme last night. With uh, seemed like everything they did was NBA, 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 and we have, um, God, we kick things off with um, this E stand Kroenke. We found out that the E stands for Enos which rhymes with penis. That that was the big joke last night, right? The 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 big the hilarious moment. We're going to we're going to go out and trash this guy and say Enos rhymes with penis. That's what we're going to do, right? On a PG show, keep in mind, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> It, 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 I'm laughing because it was just horrendous, but I'm actually glad that they got rid of him in the first segment, which is like the lowest rating of the entire show, usually the first quarter. So at, at least for the most part, they got the most ridiculous thing. That, that I mean, it, it, it kind of gives you an idea when you specifically target 
yeah, perfect example, the million dollar challenge, you remember those callers, they weren't the smartest things in the, in, in the world, and I sometimes <laughs> They weren't the smartest things, he calls them things. <laughs> <laughs> People, my bad. <laughs> Poor choice of words. But... <laughs> Not the smartest people in the world. The P, yeah, and I, smartest and people, I, no doubt. <laughs> and I figure, and I sometimes feel that he's writing to those individuals because I'm sitting there just shaking my head and going, "Are you really, really, really going there?" I mean, the billion dollar, the billion dollar Ted skits were funny. It had some amusement. There was some meaning behind it, but. Here comes Vince trying to capitalize on an issue, a, re- a reality issue, and of course, what does he do? He 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 thinks he's Dr. Seuss, and and now he wants to write, you know, rhymes and 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 involve it in a storyline, which was absolutely dumb anyway. And and at the end, what does he do? He just pushes him, and that's it. You know, the thing about the XBA where he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to form a new professional basketball league, and I'm going to call it the XBA, obviously the takeoff of the XFL. And then when he said it'll never work because Gronky and his staff, it was almost like he took a shot at himself. So that was all right. You know, I mean, that was kind of funny when he brought up the, brought up the XBA thing. But then, then the rhymes thing where he's like, oh, his, his name's Enos, which his name really is Enos. So I, uh, if you go to his Wikipedia page, it's, it's Enos Stanley Cronky or whatever it is, but then they got to the rhyme things where it's like Enos rhymes with Venus and Enos rhymes with genius and and then he you know I don't know that that's it just got corny there, and then we had um oh we had the Miz come out and interrupt you know I I like what they're doing with with the Miz and MVP as well my my hope is that they put the U S title on Kofi next week on Raw, and then they elevate MVP into that main event spot. They teased it in recent weeks. They had him as part of the main event last night. And that U.S. title, I think they set up a match next week where they could possibly get the title off him and then push him further. Not to say that the U.S. title doesn't mean anything, because it does, but I think you get... I think he could do more. You know, I think that U.S. title, if they want to, if they want to elevate him to the main event storyline feuds, he can't have the U.S. title on it. You need to, you need to let somebody like Kofi, who'd be a great fit to have the U.S. title, have him remain at the mid card level and defend that title there and push MVP as one of the new guys. You know, I mean, following the draft, we're trying to create new stars right now. Two of those stars that they're really trying to push are MVP and The Miz. And I think MVP next week, if they take the title off him, I think it would elevate him. For I, I know it sounds weird by taking the title off of somebody, but if you're going to take the title off of him and get him out of the mid-card position and elevate him to a main event position, I think it would work for him, man. I think he's shown in recent weeks. His mic work a few weeks ago, the um, what was it, the following week after the draft where uh, where he showed up and uh, got that really, really good promo. You know, I think he's shown that he's got potential, and uh, and I really hope they run with it next week. Next week will be an indication. If they get the title off him next week, I think he's in for a uh, for a good main event push. It's going to be interesting what they end up doing next week with Kofi and, and MVP. I personally think um, Stephen Regal will interfere some sort of way, and it will be like a DQ. I don't think that MVP is just yet ready to drop the title. They're still going to push him to the sky as best as they can. Um, not consider that Ken Kennedy, obviously, is, is back in the scene. Um, so I, I think that out of those two, they will kind of flip-flop and, and kind of utilize them um, in a replacement of HBK if and when he returns back. And same thing with Triple H, when he returns back. So I think that they're, they're, they're going to utilize Kofi and MVP, kind of elevate them in, in, in both of those respects, but at the end of the day, I don't still, I don't feel, I'm not convinced just yet that MVP is going to drop the title to Kofi, well, to Regal, I, to anyone. I said, I think you've got, you said that you've got Kennedy coming back, right? And this guy, I mean, the guy came back last night and, um, <laughs> yeah, I read that. <laughs> you know, took a took a spot from Randy Orton last night and and injured his wrist. You know what I mean? And we've talked about it before, where the guy is so injury prone and management has you know, not been all that high on pushing this guy. You know, you push him through the roof, and then he gets injured, and he's out. And on his first night back, he comes back last night, 
and gets a wrist injury. You know, I mean, that's not so. I mean, Matt Hardy is right now working with a, a legit broken hand. You know what I mean? So an ankle, or not an ankle, a uh, a wrist injury isn't. I don't think that's going to keep him out for any any long extended period of time. But it's a matter of do you want to push that guy? Do you want to put that guy in the main event storylines when he's that injury prone? And I think if you were to reverse the roles. Well, not reverse the rules because both those guys were fe- featured in the main event last night. But I think I think Kennedy would be better.